नमस्ते आई निशु पांडे वेलकम एवरी वन ऑन द ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ साइंस बिट्स ऑनली ऑन भारत ऑफिस दिस सेशन इज ऑल अबाउट साइंस विच इज सिंप्लीफाइड इन शॉर्ट क्रिस्ट एंड यूनिक मैनर फाइ द एक्सपर्ट साइंस बिट्स इन्वॉल्व एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द टॉपिक रेजिंग फ्रॉम द रिसेंट ट्रेंड्स एंड डेवलपमेंट इन द फील्ड ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टू डिस्कशन ऑन द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन एंड पोटेंशियल कॉन्सेप्ट विच आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द परस्पेक्टिव ऑफ कंपिटेटिव एग्जाम्स भारत ऑफ फर्स्ट प्रोवाइडिंग यू एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू आस्क योर डाउट बाय द फॉर्म हुज लिंक हैज बीन प्रोवाइडेड इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो डू मेक यूज ऑफ दिस अपॉर्चुनिटी नाउ आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम आवर साइंस एक्सपर्ट डॉक्टर टी वी वेंकटेश्वरन सर हु इज हेयर विद अस टू एंसर द क्वेश्चन डॉक्टर टी वी वेंकटेश्वरन सर इज अ सीनियर मोस्ट साइंटिस्ट एट विज्ञान प्रसार न्यू दिल्ली ही इज ऑल्सो द फाउंडर ऑफ इंडिया साइंस वायर सो लेट्स बिग इन दिसन विथ टूडे इज क्वेश्चन Today's question is the fundamentals of a satellite launch vehicle whoever it is whether it is india or us or russia or china it's same it's something that uh, uh, we see in uh, our patre parties when you are uh, blowing up a balloon accidentally you leave it the balloon uh, flies away right so the air from the inflated balloon comes on one direction because of that there is a, a force which uh, comes on the balloon on the opposite direction and the balloon starts moving in the opposite direction we would have heard it as a newton third law right so the same thing happens in the rocket so inside the rocket there are some fuel when you burn that fuel hot gas comes out okay expanding hot gas comes out on the other side like the air comes out of the balloon so when the hot gas comes out out of the nozzle on one side the rocket moves forward okay so it's the same principle so what i can do is now i can uh, attach two balloons uh, like this okay with a small cello tape here i can have a inflated balloon and another inflated balloon i can attach these two balloons and then let's say i uh, uh, in a cloth line uh, i uh, using a, a straw okay i uh, make this kind of a contraption i open this uh, end so now the air from this balloon is coming out like this and because of that the uh, balloon starts both of them start moving in the forward direction now uh, what will happen when the uh, air from the first balloon is exhausted when the first balloon gets exhausted this will become uh, 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 thin so these two will get uh, detached okay so then the air from the second balloon can come so i am i'm making first the air from the first balloon to come and then the air from the second balloon to come this is called as staging staging okay so in a rocket that can be serial staging that is uh, first i uh, make the first uh, part of the rocket to uh, exhaust its uh, fuel then the second part to exhaust its fuel so it is called serial staging or i can have parallel staging i can attach uh, three rockets okay all of them fire at the same time but the two of them become empty so i detach and then throw it away the central one core one goes up okay parallel staging why do i need this i need this because uh, when i throw this away the weight of the rocket comes down so now with the less uh, uh, exhaust i can get a better uh, force okay and uh, there is no point in carrying empty shell right so when you uh, go on a tour and you take a uh, food with you you take disposable uh, containers right you throw away because there is no point in uh, carrying that uh, disposable container right so in the same way by uh, reducing the uh, uh, rocket weight i mean it can get uh, more uh, 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 force from uh, same amount of fuel if you look at india isro uh, we have a, a suite of uh, launch vehicles so in 1980s we created what is called as slv satellite launch vehicle slv3 okay that was a, a small uh, uh, satellite launch vehicle okay it was largely for uh, testing and uh, understanding then in uh, 1988 we created what is called as aslv okay so the satellite launch vehicle were able to take just about 17 uh, uh, lift off weight was 17 ton it could take 40 kilograms to low earth orbit 40 kilograms that's all okay but uh, the aslv was able to take about 140 kg then came pslv the real uh, 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 rocket this was developed in 1994 it could take 1600 kg okay and then came uh, gslv in 2000 which was able to take uh, uh, 2000 kg that is about uh, 2 tons 
now we have jslv mark 3 which can take four tons to uh, gpu okay so today uh, uh, these two are in uh, uh, operation and they are bringing back this slv3 because uh, now small satellites are uh, becoming fashion okay for low earth orbit so for that uh, the slv3 would be useful so they are converting this slv3 into small satellite uh, uh, launch vehicle a new uh, uh, rocket is under construction under ISO. Uh, in addition to this PSLV, GSLV and uh, uh, GSLV Mark III, uh, the ISRO is also uh, uh, developing a new, uh, what can be called as uh, a very advanced uh, uh, technology uh, launch vehicle called as TSTO, two stage two orbit. Okay, so, and uh, this will use the, uh, uh, hypersonic uh, rockets okay hypersonic uh, uh, rocket engines supersonic uh, uh, rocket engines ramjet scramjet okay so it will take time around uh, 2040 2050 they may come about uh, come to uh, uh, existence okay there is one important thing called as turnaround time that is once you launch a pslv uh, it takes uh, a lot of turnaround time but when you are launching a GSLV, few months you can launch another one. And if you are launching GSLV, you can launch the next one in a few weeks. In uh, uh, TSTO, you can launch it in few days. So more missions. So roughly we had about one flight in a year. We increased it to four to six flights in a year. With the GSLV Mark III, you can make uh, 20 to 30 flights in a year. But with the TSTO, you can make 300 flights in a year. Okay, so literally every day that can be a uh, a mission to space okay so this will be the uh, improvement so these are the various kinds of launch vehicle that uh, isro has and does on hot 